Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin twin twins ninja. So if you in any way at all identify as a divine feminine or a divine masculine hunty, then this reading is for you. All right, let us go ahead and jump into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that spirit has here for you all on today. All right, thank you, spirit. Let me go ahead and put this incense over here. In my instant holder, y'all. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what the messages are that Spirit has for the twins. Thank you, Spirit. Cleanse this face. All right. Hope that you guys are doing well today. In the event that you are not, I pray that we can transmute the energy here and look at the cards, y'all. They don't even want to shuffle here and now. All right, so there's really some energy going on. All right, that we need to discuss some things that we need to work out and situate. So I'm happy to help. All right, let us see what the messages are for the twins. What do they need? Oh, a lot. What do they need to know? Oh, oh, divine masculine has a lot that he wants to say. All right. He wants to talk to you. He wants to discuss some things. What do you want to talk about, sir? Okay. We have recalling. He can't stop thinking about you, but you don't talk to him much. He doesn't know if you think about him the same way that he thinks about you. He's in his mind thinking a lot. He wants to come to some sort of agreement with you. He feels like the reason you do things or the reason you handle him a certain type of way is to punish him or you're trying to retaliate against him or something and it's really driving him nuts. He feels like, why can't you guys meet? That's what I just heard. Why can't you, why can't you guys meet? Why can't you guys see each other right now? Is what they just said. All right. Somebody is sending out SOS. All right. Trying to get in contact with you. Yeah, we have love affair here. We have commitment. Okay. So some of you, like I said, you could have cut this person off, whether you blocked them, ghosted them, whichever way you want to call it, honey. This could just be energetically too. This person can like be able to reach you, but maybe you don't respond. You get what I'm saying or something. We have love affair coming out here and we have commitment. So um, low down, dirty secret, like I always say, okay, nobody wants to be on the side, right? Why be some cold ass, stale ass mashed potatoes when you can be a whole mother freaking steak? If you don't eat steak, then, you know, think of it as whatever you need to think of it as. Why do that when you could be some whole, you know, oyster mushroom out here like why do that when you could be like a lion's mane mushroom or some shit you get what i'm saying why why settle for being the mashed potatoes or the mac and cheese it makes no sense so you know we have long-term relationship i feel like this is giving me vibes of that group the other day where i said you were given an ultimatum you know they were hoping you didn't say yeah it's this or this because a lot of them are trying to be dibbling and dabbling in multiple places all right so let us see here what we have what are the messages for the twins what is this sticking his head out? We have lost. Okay, so oh, they really do feel lost without you. So this is why they're like, okay, we got to come to some sort of agreement here. We got to figure something out. Okay, you like, it's really nothing to figure out. Is either you going to do this or you're not? Okay, um, we have, yeah, SOS. Like, <laughs> they feel like you make things hard for them. Like, they feel like they need to be with you right now. They feel like you're able to be with them right now and you're choosing not to because you want to punish them or because you want to retaliate against them for having put you in a love affair and not having given you commitment. That's what I just heard. All right. Um, we have denial here. So either this person is not facing the truth or you're not facing the truth. Okay. That's how they feel. They feel like, yeah, they feel like you're blocking the reconciliation. They feel like you can feminine. I can't make it up here. Your energy is divine feminine. They feel like you can change it. You can do something about it right now. Why won't you? You get what I'm saying? It's because you're trying to retaliate or because you're trying to punish me. That's what they said. And they don't like it. They're like, that's not fair. That's not right. You get what I'm saying? Poison. They feel like it's kind of toxic to do that. You get what I'm saying? It's mad toxic. They feel like you're triggering them. It's very annoying. Um, but they're very embarrassed because here's the thing. Like I said before, you know, they want to meet. They want to see you. They want to talk. They have this offer, this proposal that they want to make. It more than likely is this commitment, right? Um, so they're coming from a place of, you can do something about it. Why won't you? That's toxic. You're coming from a place of, if you want it, you can do something and you won't. That's toxic. So here we go again with that mirroring effect with the twins. And then it's Gemini season. So be careful of what it is you're putting out there. Cause it will certainly be reflected back to you. All right. And definitely when we're talking about the twin, right? So let us see what else do the twins need to know? All right, we have trash. We have discard, okay, or discarding, throwing out. 
drama queen yeah because they feel like if you can do something about it do something about it like come on that's what i feel here okay that's what i see all right um what's playing right now? out of time okay hmm interesting all right let us see let us see let us see let's get some messages from your divine counterpart all right, I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. I fear you will never forgive me. Yes, because like I said, they feel like you're doing this because you're still holding on to something. All right, all I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. They really want you. They want you to be close. All right, it says our connection is complicated. There are issues out of our control, such as, but not limited to, whoever this drama queen is that maybe they have family with or child with, um, you know, it's giving heavy BM vibes. All right, that's been coming out a lot. Um, divine feminine is not going to deal with no, no BM vibes. Maybe that's why you're not coming close. You ain't got time. You're dealing with no baby mama drama and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. They just need to speak up, be clear, be direct about what it is, um, that they're feeling, how they're, you know, what they're going through on their end is what I'm feeling like. Cause they're not speaking up on it, y'all. We have, I'm trying to be someone you can trust. Okay. Well start by speaking up. Okay. We have, I get scared for being honest with you. That's why they don't speak up, okay? They get scared of what you're going to say. I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now, all right? And I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think, all right? What's the underline in here? I love you so much, no matter what, all right? So if you come, they love you. If you don't, they love you. They love you, all right? They just know that you're holding on to something from the past, and they really want you to release it. It keeps coming out like that. They feel like, yo... If you weren't holding on to it, y'all would have already been back together at this point. That's how they feel. Okay, so let us see. Messages from the Dear Empress deck. You can find this on my website, www.blueorahealing.com. All right, that information is in the description box. Yeah, I could just say that, but I like saying the whole thing. <laughs> All right, so it says, your love fills me with so much joy. This is the only place I want to be, okay? So once again, if you were thinking, oh, well, they want to be with that one. And this one, I don't necessarily see that. Okay, they just keep falling out. Jesus. All right. Um, sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. I want to make this happen. I need you to give me a sign. See, so they're waiting on you to give them a sign. Because like I said, they feel like this could have already taken place. But the reason you won't allow it to is because you're still holding on to something from the past. All right, I was going to catch that one. It says, in order for this to work, we have to be honest with one another. Yeah, okay, like what, what it is that you want, what it is that you um, are okay with, what it is that is bothering you, if something is bothering you. You get what I'm saying? Like, speak up. You can't say, yeah, I care for this person. I love them. I want them to do right by me. But if they're doing something wrong, you're not telling them. You get what I'm saying? You got to speak up here. Now, obviously, common sense is common sense. So, use your discernment and then the underlying energy is my family and friends didn't approve of you because you were married or have child or children now mind you family came out here so it could have been family involved somewhere you get what i'm saying somebody saying oh no don't do that don't do this but this person you know like i said they what did it say things outside of your control were involved in your connection or were playing a role in your connection or something like that all right i guess that's what they're referring to Okay, so yeah, let us pull some dice. Let us pull. Huh. Let's roll some dice. See what we get. Okay. All right. So. so. Woo! All right. So we have Libra. We have Virgo. All right. We have the North Node um aries okay pluto so a lot of transformation change rebirth 10 10 brand new beginning three expansion mind body and spirit connection okay so now you can have any of those signs on your chart they could be those signs those numbers can be significant or anything like that all right i'm gonna clear the board we're gonna get into the tarot all right let us go ahead jump into it yeah we got the five of cups we got the eight of cups somebody's like just let the past go Let's just let the past stay where it's at. <laughs> you know, how can we build this future? How can we move forward? Okay, what are the messages for the twins? Thank you. 
seven of wands determined to stand up and fight for you show you that this is something they want two of wands in the past they did not choose you they're saying they're never going to make that mistake again okay we have the page of pinnacles here so this page of pinnacles is like a brand new beginning fresh starts here in the physical queen of cups they just want to know can you open your heart to them again yeah the masculine um and here his energy is i left uh, i left his cute little self right here um but yeah okay so they want to know you know can you open your heart to them again is that possible okay let us see because a lot of you have closed it off we have the judgment card because they've woken up to the truth okay they had a reality check that's why i heard they will never make that mistake again that's what they said all right let us see here messages for the twins we got the tower all right so there's definitely something about to shift and change whether you're ready for it or not this is when spirit has been asking us hey get the arrangements in order you get what i'm saying get everything in order because it's about to be some abrupt endings it's about to be some shifts some things are about to go down and you're like okay spirit i got you i heard you mm -hmm. in a second next month spirit like you don't have next month here's a tower boom i said now you get what i'm saying so I don't know, it's about to be a shift here for the twins, like I've been telling you guys, all right? June is really significant for Twin Flames. It is the month of the lovers, okay? <laughs> Y'all remember that song by Lloyd, The Year of the Lovers? Well, this is the month of the lovers. Oh, my gosh, she gotta go. The Magician is here, okay? Um, the Knight of Swords, all right? The Two of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah, somebody's been sitting in solitude, <laughs> All right, um, aiming to manifest you. Somebody's been working on like their manifestation, keeping their energy high, um, meditating. If I didn't already say that, you get what I'm saying? They just been really trying to figure out how could they manifest their two of cups back because this person, they feel like you're the perfect match for them. That's the two of cups energy, perfect match. So they're like praying to spirit, anybody that they believe in, you know, that you're coming back to them or you're gonna give them another chance. We have the page of wands, like I said, working with magic. We have the Eight of Wands. They're going to see some progress. And we have the Six of Swords. A lot of you are going to be coming toward this person or allowing them to come toward you. Um, and so this is going to light this person's heart up with the Knight of Cups. Uh, excuse me, the Nine of Cups. going to light their heart up because they've been working on this. And this is something that they want. Okay, it's something that they desire, something they yearn for. They've been sitting here longing for you this entire time. And now, boom, you're going to come back with everything they've ever wanted. Okay, so let's go around this board one more time. Let us see what we got. We got the seven of wands. Okay, the lovers. See what I'm saying? <laughs> They're like, I'm going to stand up and fight for my divine counterpart. That's that's what I want. I want that one. You get what I'm saying? That's how I heard it. You, like, they're, listen, the way that they feel without you is no good. So they that tells them a lot. You understand what I'm saying? they like, wherever I have to take accountability, wherever I have to take action, that's what I'm going to do. That's divine masculine energy. He gets shit done. Yeah, divine masculine, divine feminine. <laughs> they get things done. Remember, we saw the North Node energy, right? The North Node is your destiny. We saw the star card. I mean, we saw the North Node um, dice, right? Or die. <laughs> So let us see, we have uh, two of wands here with the page of pentacles. Like I said, never making that mistake again. Yeah, queen of pentacles, mm -mm. they chose someone else. <laughs> they chose a karmic justice card here. They like, they will never make that mistake again. You get what I'm saying? They went based off of what somebody else told them or what other people told them, honestly. We have the queen of cups here, okay? Queen of cups, the world, all right? so. Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. They want the old cycle to end and a new one to start. Like I said, the strength card, they just want to heal, all right? They want to heal. They want to reconcile. Yeah, page of cups. They want you to lead by faith and not by sight. Okay, that's what I just heard too. We got the judgment card here with the knight of swords coming to deliver this truth. They had a reality call, wake up check. They know exactly. <laughs> wake up check, wake up call, reality check. We have the ace of swords, the knight of swords. Okay, so... Excuse me, this is clarity, like I said. They can see clearly now the rain is gone, honey. Yeah, King of Cups, you guys are a match. Again, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. You guys are Emperor and Empress, so you're going to match each other through and through. This is what's come to their awareness with the Six of Wands sticking his head out. And we have the Knight of Cups here, okay? So I apologize if I read fast, you guys. 
All right. I've just been doing this for a minute now, so it just flows. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes the messages are a little more choppy. That's because it's not coming through as clear. It's coming through clear as day right now, hunty. So we have the tower card. All right. What is this? Tower card. Ten of cups. You know what I'm saying? This is what's coming in. You are this person's happily ever after. They are yours. Therefore, that's what's coming in. A reconciliation or rebirth. I mean, the love between you guys is so pure that you feel it everywhere. You feel it in your third eye. You feel it in your heart chakra. You feel it in your... You feel it everywhere. Okay? So, it's kind of telling you something. It's not just like your body is is uh, what's feeling it. You get what I'm saying? And, and it's just a lust type of thing or it's just something of the flesh. No, it's not that. A divine connection is not that at all. Okay? You might want <clears throat> to jump they damn bones because of how you feel for them, but this, this has nothing to do with it. You get what I'm saying? So we have the magician, the hermit, the two of cups. A lot of people might not even get in a relationship, let alone uh, jumping each other bones. All right, let us see what this is here. We got the justice card. Yeah, so that's what's coming to an end. All right, this person has been uh, realizing that, you know, they got into a karmic situation. they like, it's just a matter of time, divine timing. All right, but I feel like it's something that's coming in the very near future. You know this, they know this. So everybody's just kind of chilling right now, letting it happen. All right. Now, for a lot of you, I'm feeling this energy here. Like I said, you've already decided, you know, you're going to move forward, go in a different direction. That's cool. You don't have to be with the person. But the people I'm reading for here, yeah. You guys are going to be together, all right? Yeah, we got the five of wands, all right? There's outsiders, other people, this, that, and the third. It doesn't matter. They have their eye on you. They know what it is they want. Yeah, king of wands, queen of wands. They feel like you're the one they're meant to be with. You're a part of their destiny with the sun card here, all right? So the three of cups, the third party, you know what I'm saying, is going to be left in the past, five of cups, and they're going to make this love offer to you. They're going to offer their heart to you. I just heard, um, now this is not going to resonate for everybody, but for whoever reading this is, the third party is pissed off because they know that the masculine's heart is with you. Okay. So that's what I just heard. Karmic is upset. Let me show you. Karmic third party is pissed off. Five of cups. They have a lot of remorse, a lot of regret because they, they know that this person is sitting here feeling sad and, and lonely and lost and all of that without you because their heart is with you. So that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm getting. You get what I'm saying? So yeah so it's like just allow this situation to unfold naturally and i agree nobody has time for all that messy mess all right but if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and have